And we're back for beer number three. Dave, uh, the microphone is in front of you, so why don't you uh, tell us what you think of it? Once again, <clears throat> I really like this one as well. It's um, it's very it's a bit more complex than the last one, I think, in that it's got a kind of a I'm going to say a, a kind of a whiskey-ish um, tone to it, but I don't drink whiskey, so I, <laughs> yeah, I can only go on what what, what whiskey cask aged beers I've ever had. So, but on top of that, it's got a, a very nice smooth texture to it. It's very very drinkable. But I'd say one or two might would might be my limit because I think like a clawing after the second one like a heavy and syrupy. But on first taste, it's really good as well. Okay. Could do it maybe being. I'm always saying it. Maybe it's a sli slightly warmer. Maybe as it warms up, and it'll probably open up a little bit more, and give up a little bit more of the um, the sweetness. But you probably stop with the clawing texture then as well. So but it's really tasty. What kind of beer do you think it is? Um, Style. I don't ask you to guess. It. I mean, if you want to venture a guess of any of the beer are doing the show, you you're more than welcome. It's um, I think it's a. I think it's a stout again. <laughs> I am afraid. I am completely afraid to say it now because I'm not sure. I think it's a. I'm going to, have to retire my Twitter handle now. I, 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 I think it's um. I think it's a stout. I think it's a. I think it's a stout. I, I, I think it, it's, it's, it might have been aged a little bit as well before before they put it into um before they bottled it. I okay. would think. Virginia. Well, the first smell that I had of this beer. I thought it smells like dessert. It smells really sweet. And then the first taste is, yeah, it, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty syrupy. Um, it's really creamy. Mm -hmm. It has a thick kind of slippery mouthfeel. Um, it's a it's a heavy beer. It's a heavy, I think you're right. I think it's a stout. I'm going to say it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think, think it's, it's definitely stout. heavy. <laughs> um, I can feel the weight of it in my hand, and I'm wondering if I drink all of this, if I will be on the floor. I think it is a high ABV. Um, I would say around, I don't know, five, seven, five, eight. Um, it's I do enjoy by it. the sweetness though. I think if, if it is strong, it's, I, 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 I haven't made my mind up yet, but I think if it is strong, it's definitely masked by the sweetness. I'm moving the microphone in front of Kieran. I'm just, I'm sorry for cutting you off. No, no, that's okay. No, okay. Kieran. Um, yeah, straight away I was getting stouty kind of nose off. My first thing was maybe I didn't rinse my glass well <laughs> enough. Um, but no, it has definitely that dark, dark, stouty, roasty notes. But for me, it's it's got a real yeast character to it. It to me, it's kind of it's more what I might describe as a farmhouse style, where they're not afraid to let the yeast kind of come through in the beer. Mm. And for everyone else, it was kind of getting sweetness on the nose. For me, the first thing that hit me was. Kind of the yeast and and and, and the roasted malts, I think it tastes like a, a stout as well. Um, I also think it's a little bit stronger. I think it's pushing six percent. I think five point eight six percent as well. It's really really nice. It's full of character. Mm. It's got just lovely lovely depth. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I I like it. Again, I'm saying you know stout is not my my favorite style is not what I always go to, but a good beer is a good beer. And I, I think this is a really good beer. It's a, it's a very well balanced beer. I think it's not, there's, there's nothing kind of punching above its weight in the yeah. beer. I think it's definitely, it, it's perfect. It, it's not as good. It, it's, it's perfectly good, but it's not as good as the last one, I think. But then again, you know. I I think it's it, it's a different style of beer to the last yeah, one. Yeah, I think I it think is too, yeah. The last one was really just going through a, a lot of balance and a lot of flavor but mm. to be easy drinking as well i think this one is it's a bit more assertive it wants a bit more character to, to shine through in it well i think uh, sorry it does, you know but both I, I like really like them both i think you're right i think the last one you could easily market the last one as a brown ale as well as being a stout whereas this one is a stout or a porter or whatever you want to call it then that's it i think so yeah i think it's i think it's, it's definitely darker than the last one as well just like going on taste alone and and the the, the go, you know, the, as Virginia was saying, like you know, it's got a kind of a syrupy kind of feel going down as well. It's definitely heavier, so you couldn't, you couldn't. I know you call it a brown ale, definitely not. It's very nice though. Yeah. Yeah, I um, I do enjoy it. I don't know how many pints I could actually enjoy. Um, this is. Mm. Why? Say, Why? Yeah, because you think the taste stout. will be overwhelming, or because you're going to be on the floor? I'm, I'm already full. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, that. No, I am too. It's, it's intense. It's a it's a beautiful, rich, full-bodied, 
heavy, strong stout. I really enjoy it. It's almost like something you'd have instead of dessert, as you were saying in the exactly. break, you know, before, after a meal, rather than having coffee or dessert, you'd have this and it's, mm. it's, it's delicious. But I think as soon as I finish this glass, I've had enough. I, I, I wouldn't, I, I it, couldn't. It's certainly not a session beer. No, and, uh, <laughs> no, it's not. Again, you know, it's not trying to be. Um, yeah, I, th I think, again, I think we, we all really like this beer. Mm. It's definitely one for if you're at home, a little bit of music on late in the evening. Yeah. Uh, have one before bed. Yeah. I think that's in front of fireplace. In front of the fireplace. And I think it, it, a little bit warmer is, is really going to work mm. with this as well. Mm -hmm. you know, but lovely. That's very nice. What what music would you listen to while drinking this beer? Me? Yeah. Uh, what's um, probably uh, I don't know Nick Cave maybe. <laughs> what about you, Nick? Engineer? If I was listening to this, I'd probably want some blues, some old Delta blues or something. Or maybe some, I don't know, Billy Holiday. What about Kieran? Uh, what kind of music? Joe Dolce. Actually, I want to change mine to Mark Lennigan. I think this beer deserves Mark Lennigan's ove in front of it. It's fantastic. Anybody want to venture a guess of what beer it is? What what what, what company? Or what, what kind of beer it is? Yes, the, the I mean, the specific beer. Um, oh, um. This was fine. Is it um? It ain't Guinness. That's for no, sure. it's not. <laughs> Careful enough. <laughs> is it from? Is it from? Um... I know the brewer. Thank you. Thank you for putting making that clear because I think he would have had a heart attack. If it was Guinness, I'd definitely know it. <laughs> um, I think it's. Is it? Is it something like maybe like white gypsy or somebody? Something like that. A Russian imperial. I don't think it's that strong. Though. No, it's it's punchy though. Yeah, I'm afraid it's not the one. Um, I should, you know what? One one other thing I'm uh, going to have to do in those man testing is get five good uh, five craft beer and pull a and uh, bring a, a, a can of Guinness or, or Heineken or, Dutch or, or, or something, something yeah. like that and see yeah. how, what what would be people's reaction to it. Because I mean, when you don't know what you're drinking, you just you pay more attention. Well, this is it. I mean, you, you, I mean, it, but then again, you know, like some of the, the we call them the lesser beers, I suppose, rather than slating any beer. But like you can tell, you can tell if someone's put effort into the beer rather than being a mass marketed one. That said, I mean, one of my favorite beers of all time is Guinness. I, I love if you get if you get a decent pint of Guinness, a, a perfectly poor pint of Guinness, it's as good as any beer in the world. You know, just in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But you know, I might be wrong, but. They, but th then you just did two starts actually one of them would you qualify as the best beer you've had in the last three months mm -hmm. when was the last time you had a guinness well, uh friday night okay so and it, was, it was absolutely terrible okay <laughs> I, I went to four different pubs and four di and had four points of guinness and they were all terrible so um you know it's just but but if you get a, if you get a good point and i don't want to name any you know I, i'm not sure like how how it works i don't want to name pubs and stuff but there Name certain, the good one. The good one, the Chenet. If you get a point of Guinness in the Chenet, it's it's almost religious. You know, if you if you go in there and if if Barry is working inside in the Chenet, he'll pour you a point of Guinness that will make you change your mind about most things. You know, I've tried to marry Barry a couple of times before. Points of Guinness. Uh, guess, uh, a few more months and he'd be legal. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good looking fella as well, but I'm fine. I think his wife might have something to say about it. So. Yeah, you need to taste that. But I just think the atmosphere, mm. the. You know the ambiance in the pub, mm -hmm. the the music that's playing, the mood you're in, and Irish people have have a huge, long lasting relationship mm -hmm. with Guinness as, mm -hmm. as, as as a brand, and I think that all like I I really wonder in in a blind tasting with ten other stouts, would Guinness stand out for you? I, I well, it, it, the thing is that when it, if I go back, if I start drinking, if, if I go drinking Guinness, it's usually on a session because. You know, you don't want to drag like five people, four of whom don't want to go drinking craft beer all day, or they have no interest in drink. So you go drinking Guinness. But then, if I do that, I go pick the best pub I can think of to drink Guinness in, and then it's fine. Like Grogan's in Dublin, Mulligan's in Dublin, Thomas House in Dublin are all fantastic Guinness. Pubs. Can we go back to to this beer? Ultimately, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't work for Guinness. Uh, I just want no, to. No, 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 I understand. But uh, ultimately, we're here to taste this beer. Which, uh, what, what more can we say about this beer? Really, you know, it's, yeah. So, uh, Dave, you didn't venture a guess for the ABV. Um, ABV in style. Go ahead. It's it's a stout or port or whatever you want to call it. Um, 
And I would think it's about 6.2, 6.3. 6.3, okay. Mm -hmm. Virginia, the microphone is there for you. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's close to 6. I'd say, yeah, um, 5.86. 5.86. Kieran? I'm with Virginia there, yeah. So 5.86. And um, she gets the ball right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's it's a stout slash porter as well. Okay. Oh. Guys, you could take out your blindfold. It's pink. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> That's just my eyes. That's definitely a good four or five shades darker than the last one. Yeah. So. Okay. The, I, the last one was interesting, you know. The beer, first of all, the ABV is uh, 6.5. Oh, yes. So, one for Dave. Sorry, okay, Virginia right. and uh, Kieran, de definitely, no. And the beer is... What's the Model T, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. the Model T from Black of Kinsa. Our good friend Sam. Yeah. We tasted this. You Straight out of the this, conditioning tank. Yes, uh, a I few months ago. I won't mention when. It was a while ago. And, and it was really good. And we, it's a lot better as now. Well, uh, during the, the, the pub crawl. Uh, when we came Around back to the Christmas the, time, yeah. Christmas time, it, it was, was available. Task. It was really good, but it needed aging. And I think it's, beer now is is actually has what it takes. Yeah, it's it's definitely it's, it seemed like matured. a long time to be holding on to a beer before before releasing it. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it seemed he didn't quite know what to do with it or what direction to go with it. And whatever he's he's mm -hmm. got it right. It's, it's he is, he's got it's a bang really on. lovely. Yeah, it's a beast of a beer. But, but again, but again, it's not aggressive. It's just very big and no, yeah. wholesome, you know. It's um, it's, I I don't I don't go for the ones that are, you know I'm self confessed hophead. Dave in the beer house will tell you that. But at the same time, I, I don't like to be smacked over the head the whole time by beer as well. I like to, to creep up on me a small bit. Yeah. This is yeah. definitely it's beauty. Yeah. It's very nice. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this beer, but I haven't. I didn't make the the cask festival. Mm. Um, people were talking about this a lot and. Mm. It's much nicer than the cask version we had around Christmas time, uh, which was good as well. No, we were in, the, in, November, in, in October, end of October, November, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it wasn't ready that you could tell it was... It no, was, it, it was too young. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, definitely yeah. Uh, not, not mature enough. And yeah. um, uh, I think he hit it right on, on the head. Yeah. There's no whiskey I mean, barrel involved. Since we, we had a chance yeah. to, to, to compare the, the two, ver the, the two uh, versions of it, well, it's the same beer, but with different age. This, yes. Yeah. Mm. There's, oh, no, yes. there's no whiskey barrels involved in that, no? Um, I think it was Asian whiskey barrel, but the whiskey no, barrel I, I probably it, had been used before, so it's... I think it, maybe that had been the plan, but I'm not there's sure. There's a bit of woodiness and mm. uh, oakiness, I would say, in this beer, don't you think? I think so. That, that, you know, the first thing that hit me, yeah. Sweetness, yeah. If you could speak into the microphone with you. <laughs> Virginia is getting drunk. <laughs> You're not driving home, aren't you? <laughs> no, I have a straight edge friend that I'm going to hang out with after this, actually, okay, good. incidentally. Um, no, I really enjoyed it. This would be, it's, just, it's so rich, you'd need a really good pairing. You need some strong food to go with this. Mm. Or after, a, after you know, a really heavy meal, this would be a nice kind of alcoholic mm. digestive. Yeah, it, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, it's beautiful. I really like the bottle there too. It's a flip top mm -hmm. kind of bottle. I'm not sure from where they get it, but it's um, yeah, they did well. I don't know where would you find this beer. Um, um, I mean to purchase in off license, mm -hmm. uh, Bradley's, um, okay. I guess Abbott's as well. Um, beer good. house have it as well. Beer house definitely has it, yes, but I don't think they can sell it to you like that. It's interesting because. Blacks as a brewery, I'm kind of, I like, I like, a, like it's, I'm 50 50 on them. I think this one's tipped me over the age because their session is fantastic mm -hmm. and their KPA can be fantastic. But this is very good. This is, I think, part of my favorite one of their beers so far. I'd agree. This is my favorite mm -hmm. one of their beers. Mm -hmm. I'll say I'm, I'm a bit of a fan. Mm -hmm. um, I, kind of like, I love the black IPA. The black IPA on cask it was, is beautiful. I've never had, I've only had it in, uh, on, um, Draft, I, I quite like it on draft, but it's beautiful on cask. Mm. And I just like what they do. I know people say there's a bit of inconsistency with the bottles, but I, I've never noticed that. I just, I think the pale ale and the black, they're just great go to not too expensive session beers. You know, they're, they're, they're nice, but yeah, this is, it's a different type of beer. He's, there's actually, there's he's the getting bottles into the, are very cheap. Yeah. They're, yeah. Um, their KP is fantastic if you're making a batter. My girlfriend, mm. she's a, She's an amateur chef and baker, and she has a little blog, and she made um, 
she made uh, KPA onion rings. Oh my God! They were uh, Sam that came through the computer. At her. He wanted the, the right. recipes. Can she bring some before the end of the show? No, she's working. Well, no, she might be finished now, but I'm not going to call her now. I want some onion rings and stuff. No, I'm not going to do that now. But ne next time, I'll definitely bring in some treats next time and you can try them out because she makes stuff with beer as well and breads. And I love onion rings, but uh, pale ale flavored onion rings, I definitely mm, want to try that. They're so good. Yeah. Very good with some barbecue sauce, some homemade barbecue sauce. Shut up. Let's stop talk. <laughs> <laughs> talking about food. I'm getting hungry here. Uh, so... I think we cannot agree. Another great beer. Three out of three so far. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. So far, I think the Jack Cody is just edging this slightly, but this is definitely up there. This is a deep winter beer. Mm. I could drink this around Christmas time. I could happily yeah. bring yeah, this to yeah. my family, and I know my father would enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I once again, uh, this style is not my to go beer, but this is this one. I would have no problem uh, buying a few bottles, mm. drinking this at home. And, Evening and just a uh, quiet evening. Yeah, really, really lovely. It definitely, it definitely lends itself to a quiet evening with the fire, as you said earlier on, and just relaxing. I think just taking it easy, taking it completely easy and just sipping on that. Dog asleep at your feet. Oh. I could probably borrow a dog from somewhere, I suppose. <laughs> the cats wouldn't be very happy. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to go on a musical break. Uh, small break for those who need to. And we'll be back shortly. Uh, actually, it will be about eight minutes. Uh, we have to.